Hey class, today we're going to do a couple things with our compass and range finder. We are going to calculate the angle of a certain object off of north. So in this example, we're going to measure where the Canada, Canada Goose is off of our transect. So if you can see behind me, we have a flock of Canada Geese in the field. I'm going to pick the one that's most on my left to make my estimate. So what I always do first in the field is set up my compass so that north is aiming north. So the north in my compass is aiming towards magnetic north. That's the first thing I'll do. So I put the big thick N arrow, I point it towards the top of my compass, towards that directionality arrow, and then I'm going to lay it flat in my hand and level with the ground, and I'm going to spin the compass in my hand around until red is in the shed. I'll show you that. And remember that we're using our mirror so that red is in the shed. I'm also trying to keep my compass level with the ground, so I try to get that bubble towards the center. So now I know where north is. But our goose is not in the north direction off of our transect. We want, to, we want to measure the angle it's at from north. So now I'm going to turn in the direction of my goose. And now I'm going to turn my compass so that red is in the shed again and then take my reading. So I'll spin the dial until red is in the shed, and I'm looking in my mirror. Hopefully you're able to see that now I'm approximately estimating that angle, and I'm seeing around 190, around 192 degrees is at the top. So remember that directionality angle continues into a line on the mirror. So I would record the angle we're at I would use my GPS or my phone set to GPS to take my waypoint of where I'm standing. So I have my waypoint, I have my bearing, now I need my distance to that goose. So I'll take my range finder, I'll hit that top button, turn it on, I'll put that goose in my crosshairs, press the button until it takes a reading. I'm seeing 75 yards from here. So I would record all of that. So that's one example of what we're gonna do with our compass today. Another is um, if we already know our angle or our bearing, if we know it, we can dial it in and then find that direction. So if someone told me their goose was, they're, maybe they're measuring the, the goose the most on the right, and they said it was 200 degrees away from north. So what I can do is dial in 200. So you'll see I've put 200 at the top. And then I'm going to spin until red is in the shed. So now we're red is in the shed. And I agree. I do see, so that before we were at around 192 for our leftmost most goose, now when we move our angle over to 200, now we've covered our rightmost goose. So we can use our compass in two ways. We can measure the angle off north, or if we already know the angle off of north, we can dial it in and then turn our body holding the compass to that direction. So I hope that you found this helpful.